Hey, what's up, guys? DJ Nicky T here, 1979. Just another video to sort of keep in touch with you guys. I haven't done one for a little while. I keep getting lots of questions, um, and it's just been a little bit difficult to find the time to do videos. Lots of people messaging me on the game. So I thought I'd jump on. Uh, I'm getting close to my first video reaching a 1,000 views, so I will uh, definitely do a, a, a decent video for that one to celebrate a thousand views so first off thank you guys for for watching my videos and checking out my videos uh, liking sharing and giving me feedback um, just to really catch up with everyone uh, on the new update to see how you know you're all getting on with it and um, and just to sort of really help the beginners uh, beginner to mediums and you know the medium to pros to kind of help you guys out with um, the kind of best combinations for heroes and things like that, because obviously the big guns kind of already know what they're doing. So uh, as you can see, this is my latest base. It actually um, is a lot better than my old base. Um, instead of you know getting three starred all the time, I'm now sort of I do get three starred every now and again, but most of the time I'm getting one starred, two starred, and sometimes you know people can't defeat it. But it just goes back to my one of my previous videos about bases. There isn't a base yet that uh, is undefeatable, so I won't ramble on too much about bases because, like I said, there isn't really any structure, uh, any sort of advice that I can give you on on the best base because, like I said, there isn't really anything out there at the minute that uh, that you can't three star. So I won't talk about bases today. But um, if we go on to the heroes. Um, with the new guy, Blunderbuss. I don't know if anyone uses him yet. Um, I don't use him as yet, but um, because I've, he's only uh, level 17, I've maxed him out because he was the only uh, only troop I had left to max. So every time I go to war or you know attack someone, um, the shards just go towards his legendary status, and he is legendary now. So I'm able to sort of get him to a decent level but as you can see through my heroes um i use tokin uh sorry apollo uh rook and aurora aurora as you can see is my favorite and i'll go through the heroes um with you guys one by one so you can kind of understand a bit more about them for beginners i personally would suggest using to start off with Obviously Apollo because he's the first one you get but with Apollo His skills you get the dawn blade Straight away and the dawn blade is probably one of the deadliest weapons out there um, Once you've you know reached the decent level, but because he's the first hero That's the one that you should aim towards progressing straight away then obviously comes Tokin who again is a great hero to have because straight away you get the circle of heal um, so he can heal anyone that's you know losing their damage and about to to pass away so he is another good good one to have um, I never really use tiny um, I know he's a good one to have but he's only really a good one to have when you get squabble um, so that means you know you need 250 shafts sorry yeah 250 shards um, in order to get that so I don't really I'll, I'll bypass that one Scarlet is one of my favorite heroes for beginners to intermediates because she has the deadly blossoms um, You only need a hundred shards To get the deadly blossoms and then you can start firing them at defenses so that she's a good hero to have um, I don't really like stitches. I don't really like havoc I did used to use Gadget a lot um, because she's got the Shock Bomb, which will stun any defences. Um, but for me, lots of people use Shank. I never really got, got to grips with, with Shank. I used him a little bit, but for me, the, the one to use is Rook. Rook's got the, the Shield Wall, so if you can upgrade your building to get Rook as quickly as possible... I would suggest that you do that and upgrade the the shield wall as soon as you can because rook will basically run around um and any defenses near uh, sorry any allies any of your troops that are near him 
uh, he, he will basically hold up a shield and absorb lots and lots of uh, attacks towards your um, your allies and healing them in the process as well with uh, with his skills. There you go, his healer's staff there. So for me, I would suggest aiming to get Rook because I think Rook's one of the best troops out there. Um, and definitely for the intermediates to people that are really progressing nicely with the game, for me, the best troop is Aurora. Uh, Aurora has Blizzard, Icy Winds, Deep Freeze and Frostbite. If you can get Aurora to Legendary, she is the best troop to have. Um, she'll fire a beam of ice to a target in ugh, a beam of ice in a target direction, dealing absolutely huge amounts of uh, of energy towards those those defenses. Especially for those that have the uh, the three top defenses in a line: the marksman towers and the shock tower. As you can see, mine aren't in a line, so you would go. You would basically say, for instance, start her around here where the essence mill is and fire it towards the marksman tower in line with the next marksman tower. And it would literally take those two out in one hit. But a lot of bases, they're in a line. So if this marksman tower here was where the dwarven tower is and you aimed it from where this war camp was, you would literally take out all of these defences with one hit you would take them all out with one hit that's how strong that frostbite is so for me i would definitely say aim towards getting aurora upgraded as soon as possible because she for me is the best troop out there but then if you can get nimbus she's got the cloud cover which is a great great um ability to have so what you do is you drop all your troops down and then as soon as they get to, to you know, close to any defences, you just drop the, the cloud cover and it's a massive circle that absorbs, as you can see, I'm on, it will absorb 11, 11 plus thousand um, defence points uh, that income. And obviously once, once the uh, circle has absorbed that amount of, of uh, defence hits, then it will just disappear and then people can start hitting your, defense, uh, your, your allies. But she is a, an absolutely crazy uh, troop to have as well at, at a high level. But I would suggest to everyone going for Aurora. But like I say, for beginners, you want to aim to upgrade Apollo, Tokin, and Rook. If not, Apollo, Tokin, and Scarlet. Those are the three I would suggest. Or Rook, Tokin, and Apollo. Those are the three that I would suggest. For intermediate players, I would still stick with Rook. And still stick with Apollo and probably go towards Shank. Because like I said, a lot of people do use Shank. But once you've gone past Intermediate, for me personally, I use Apollo, Rook and Aurora. They're the three that I believe are the best troops. However, once you get Nimbus and Blunderbuss at max power, I believe that Blunderbuss will be the best troop out there. I believe these three will be the best combination but i'm i'm quite a way off that as yet um aurora as you can see she's pretty good for me uh, level 28 um and i'm now upgrading her to level 29 so just a little bit about the heroes guys um hopefully that will help you out a little bit let me know your thoughts you know because it's always interesting to see how people are getting on um i did try and do a live hit uh an hour or so ago when I took my dogs out, but it was too windy. So um, I'll play it back to you. Uh, where are we? Let's have a look. We're losing this war, unfortunately. It doesn't look like we're gonna we're gonna win this one. Um, this was the last hit that I did. Let's have a look. So you can see the troops that I use. So this, I mean, this base wasn't overly hard, but as you can see. I dropped Aurora just by this gold mine, as you can see. I've done a couple of dragons down the bottom there just to take out those outskirt buildings, a few uh, brawlers around there. And the reason why I do that is because they're not going to get touched by any defences, so they're going to rack up mammoth extremely quickly. And as you can see here, 
I've dropped Rook, Apollo and a few more Brawlers. So what will happen is um, straight away I will um, push the ability of Rook, the shield, the wall shield. And um, nothing will be able to touch those troops for, I think it's about 15 seconds. But in the meantime, um, because I've racked up so much mana, I'll drop that frostbite and I'll aim it straight the way through these defences. And just watch what it does. Ready? So I'll play it and then I'll pause it. There you go. So it takes out. All of those defences with just one hit. With just one hit. So you've now taken out any real strong defences that have any chance of taking out my troops. And as you can see down the bottom here, Rook, Apollo and all these brawlers, they're all shielded. As you can see the little mark above them, the little Rook sign, the chest, chest piece. So they're now going to go into this wall here. And they're going to start just demolishing the base. Uh, they're going to absorb anything coming their way for at least 15 seconds. And then obviously I'll click him again. But as you can see, everything has just been taken out by that one hit, that one frostbite. And it's opened up the whole entire wall. So uh, those rooks, uh, sorry, the, the brawlers will now just go into that gap and start taking away the defences. So I'll start playing it again. As you can see, I've thrown another frostbite, taken out three or four more defences. There we go. The shock tower is still there, but uh, there we go. I've taken it out with the dawn blade. Easy as that. Unfortunately, Rook's sort of gone walkabouts. But I'll send him towards the brawlers. There we go. And he's gone walkabouts again, but I'll soon send him back to the brawlers. And stick the wall shield on the brawlers again. And, you know, there's not really much else that can... There you go. they got the, the sign up there. So they're, they're taking all that. They're absorbing all that defense. All that attacking, sorry. And the base is pretty much done. You know, with all those troops left. It was it was really, really easy, actually. Um, so, yeah, that's just a, a little demonstration. Obviously, it doesn't work as easy as that on the big, big bases. But, um, you know looking at people that have hit my base my base is pretty good um i've only got one more round of defenses left to do my walls um i've nearly started the last uh, level of walls i think it's 13 um so my base will you know soon to be max but people still three star me with this technique so once those three heroes are maxed out i do believe that there is no base out there that you cannot defeat so let me know your thoughts, guys. Um, let me know how you're getting on with the um, with the new update. It's been a couple of months now, um, and hopefully, you know, our videos have put people's comments to rest. You know, I did state live on the game, live on VIP, live on Global, Global that I was in in conversation, in emails back and forth with the guys that run the game, and they did promise me there was an update coming. No one believed me, but there we have it. We did get the 2016 update and it was exactly as we thought it would be we did state in one of the videos we thought there'd be another level of walls which there was we thought there'd be another round of updates on the defenses which there was we anticipated that there could be a new hero which there was we did say there could potentially be another troop which there was i don't really know too much about that troop because i haven't used it yet uh, I'm just concentrating on upgrading my, my defences. Um, what else was there? There was a few other little things. Oh, yeah, that we, we said that there could be an, an increase of level of hero to 26 to maybe 27, 28, but that went to 30. Um, and that was about it, I think. Not too much else. But like I said, it was a massive, massive update. We got pretty much all of it right. So let us know how you guys are getting on with it. Um if there's anything you want to want to talk about, uh, any questions you want to ask, please feel free to, to get in contact with me, guys. Please keep liking and sharing and watching my videos. Um, it'd be good to get over that thousand mark for my first video fairly soonish. Um, and then we can, you know, carry on making some more videos and helping you guys out. So thanks for watching, guys. That's me done for the day and I will see you real soon.
Take it easy. Ciao.